right welcome back this is Solomon Jagwe I'm back with another quick insight and uh, mini tutorial uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, Gen Genesis 8.1 and uh, specifically Victoria 8.1 <laughs> okay so last time I did uh, a review over the Genesis character and showed some of the new improvements that have been added and I wanted to talk about uh, character animation today for the facial animation of uh, Victoria 8.1 I wanted to try it out and see how does it look and how well does it stand up you know to the you know scrutiny <laughs> I guess of the geometry the eyes and to see how beautiful does it look once it's animated the character looks great right but what does it look like animated so guys if you're new to my channel I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are alerted when I post a new video and as always thank you so much to my steady subscribers and especially to those who have uh, contributed to my patreon account thank you guys I truly appreciate the support okay so today I'm using the face motion 3d app as you can see it here on this iPhone iPhone 10 and uh, sorry guys for those of you who use Android I know I see that in the comments all the time I truly wish we had um, a solution an option for Android phones because I'm actually shooting from an Android phone uh, this is my note 5 I've had it for a long time and I wish it could actually handle some of this but unfortunately this is a depth sensing camera solution so maybe the newer androids will have that option but the technology itself i think is gonna stay uh with uh, the iphone because it's uh it was it used to be face shift right and then apple bought face shift and integrated that technology into the iphone 10 and newer models of that so unless someone comes up with a new solution that uh ma like is better than apple's solution I think it'd be a while before I think Apple lets other people use this technology on their phones. It's a kind of a selling point for them. So I was able to link up uh, Face Motion 3D and good news guys, Victoria 8.1 and the Genesis character 8.1 works very well with the Genesis 8.1 model, rather sorry. <laughs> It works very well with the, uh, uh, sorry, let me say that again. Genesis 8.1, right, 8.1 and Victoria 8.1, Michael 8.1, you know. So those characters that are going to be based on the Genesis 8.1 model work very well with the Face Motion 3D app as well as Face Motion Live. And I did a test uh, here on this left hand side is the render. And that is composited in uh, After Effects. And over here is the scene, the original scene that I, I used. And let me switch to the one that is actually in. That's right there. It, that's inside of uh, Da Studio. And I'm using Da Studio 4.15 Pro. And uh, I have the Genesis 8.1 model loaded. And that character is. Uh, the Victoria 8.1 character. You can see how beautiful the eyes look, the texturing. I mean, even the hair looks very realistic. So there, there's actually hair specifically designed for uh, Genesis 8.1 that makes that com complements the realism of that character. So guys, at a quick disclaimer, this is not a meta human. <laughs> so what you're gonna see is just a, a test animation that I rendered inside of Das 3D and uh, used um, NVIDIA iRay to render the, the scene. So even what you're looking at right there, that is iRay, you know. So I think the, the uh, meta humans, the fact that we can actually render in real time is very, very impressive, guys. So, um, man, if Da Studio gets to the point where it can render in real time, like the Unreal Engine, and we still get that kind of quality, I think that's going to be an awesome day because I, I know, I mean, not everyone is going to be using uh, the Unreal Engine and not every project that you do is going to be based on the Unreal Engine because the meta humans are going to be specifically uh, working in the Unreal Engine. So for 8.1, Victoria 8.1 and all our newer models that are based on the Genesis 8.1 uh, 
version. I think this is your solution of uh, the meta human because you can get that kind of quality. And now I'm going to show you the animation. So I rendered the animation. Uh, I was able to get about, let's see, this is a, uh, I rendered a, uh, how many frames is this? 1074 frames. Okay. And uh, the animation itself is over here. Let me play it. So just lighting a little bit. Let me go ahead and play the animation so you can see what it looks like. So that's Genesis 8.1 as a Victoria 8.1 character. And it works very well with this face motion app that is coming up. And guys, this is very, very impressive because look at the realism. Look at that. So guys, uh, thank you again for joining me today for this quick insight and uh, testing Victoria 8.1 to see how she looks animated and to test out the geometry, the, you know, the appearance, the facial animation and using the live, uh, sorry, face motion live um, app in the plugin, that plugin right there that is coming upcoming and uh, to, to show what is in the future. So even though we may not have the meta humans right here today, uh, for those of you who are DAS users, uh, there is hope. There is hope that we will be able to get that kind of quality, this kind of uh, animation realism, and hopefully down the road, we'll be able to get real-time rendering in our DAS studio so that we can, for all that whole library of uh, characters that we have, can be used so thank you so much guys uh, please spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll, I'll see you next time with another insight and tutorial please stay safe dare to dream big much love bye for now